limits understanding the concept so this video uh, is combined with another video actually to understand the concept of limits so first we will try to see how limits is connected with tangent line or rather slope of a tangent line okay now in the previous video we talked about earlier definition of tangent which really doesn't work that is uh, in a circle you have a line tangent to the circle as it just touches one point and we did see that a tangent to a curve could actually touch the curve at many other points and a line which touches the curves only at one point may really not be a tangent at all so that definition of tangent doesn't really fit into most of the cases right so we are still exploring what is the slope of tangent line to different kinds of curves now parabola is probably the simplest of all curved uh, figures which we have right so here we are exploring more taking help of a parabola and you have a figure which is y equals to x square it is uh, is a graph of y equals to x square here now the question is let's say we on this graph we want slope of tangent line at a point how are we going to find it so well graphically it is not very difficult and most of the time it is uh, you know easy to do it graphically the answer may not be accurate but it's not bad either for example let us say we want slope uh, on this curve at the point x equals to 1 so if we want to draw a tangent at x equals to 1 then then we can actually to find the slope at x equals to 1 what we need to do is to draw a tangent to the curve at x equals to 1 now this is x equals to 1 and that's the point where we need a tangent line so what we can do is we can just try like this and then bring it closer closer to it and then well it seems that this could be a very good approximation of a tangent line to the curve at x equals to 1 so let's try to sketch it so we just sketch this curve and you say well this goes like this so that is what I have it looks like a good tangent to our graph at x equals to 1 now now we can find the slope of this graph and figure out what is the slope of tangent line and slope is rise over run so rise is from here to let's say take two points here all oh, right we can take these two points also correct so we have rises let's go from here rise is 1 2 3 4 and run is 1 2 so slope here is let me write here as m equals to rise over run and so uh, for this particular case uh, it is 1 2 3 4 is the rise and run is 1 2 right so we get slope of 2 at x equals to 1 so that is the slope of the tangent line we have made here now but I if I would say well this is a graph of a function which is y equals to x square right and at point x equals to 1 find the slope of tangent line and if I have to do it algebraically how will I do it that is a big question how can I find tangent at a point algebraically for a graph right if this would have been a straight line that was not a problem I could have taken another point on a straight line and slope would be same any two points would give me same slope on the whole line so that was good but on the graph if I take any other point that slope you can see clearly is not the slope of our tangent line so it doesn't really give us the right answer so that is a huge problem which we need to solve for different kinds of curves and this is the simplest of all so when it is so difficult to find slope of the tangent on a curve algebraically for a parabola imagine how difficult it will be for others right so so we come up with a new technique and this is what we are going to learn here now so what we can do is uh, well you know slope is let's say slope at any point we will write here 
slope at any point m is equals to rise over run, right? Or you can write change in y, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, we have only one point, and the point is at x equals to 1. Now, how do I find slope of tangent for this graph? That question remains. What we can do is, we can actually approximate it, right? Let's take a point on the graph, okay? Let it not be, let it be close to it. Let's say 1, let's take a point at 2, for example, right? So what we can do here is, what we'll do here is, we can draw this line touching, crossing these two points, right? So we have a point at x equals to 1 and another point at x equals to 2. So when we draw this line connecting these two points, we get a line. And since this line touches the graph at two points, right, it is called secant. So that's a secant to our graph. And the slope of the secant we can find. The slope of the secant is rises 1, 2, 3 and run is 1. So it gets us a slope of 3. Of course, it is far, far away from 2, right? Now, what we do is, basically, we want slope of tangent line at x equals to 1, right? So what can we do is, let's say this point is P for us, right? And let's say this point is Q. So what we can do is, we can bring this Q closer, right? So if I bring Q, let's say here, right, or even closer, then what happens? Let's see. So what we will do is, we will think that we have a point Q which is brought closer. So then, then the slope of the tangent, rather the secant, would be, so I'm joining now these two points, right? And, and the given point. So we have this point. So as we come closer, let's say from Q to, let's say Q dash. Q dash is a point closer. That means now here we have this triangle. So rise is this much, one unit, and run is approximately less than half, it seems, right? So that gives us a slope which you can see is slightly more than the slope which we calculated with our blue tangent line. But you will see remarkable difference. That is, the secant slope approaches the slope of the tangent as the point Q comes closer and closer to P. That is the idea which we have picked up. And we say, well, the limit of the slope of secant approaches the slope of the tangent as the point Q comes very, very close to P. And that gives us the slope of the tangent line and also the definition of limit. So limit basically is coming closer and closer to P, not exactly at P. So we are looking for another point which is very, very close to P. Let us say if we have Q double dash here, let's say here, and then if we draw a line, then nearly, you will find nearly, it will match our tangent line. So let me use another ink and draw this graph. Okay, so this is good enough. Let's do this. So you'll find it very, very close, very, very close to our original tangent at x equals to 1. Right. This method gives us one advantage. The advantage is we can calculate now the slope of the tangent using algebra. Right? We don't really have to sketch. Algebra gives us huge advantage over graphing because in graphing uh, there is loss of accuracy and it depends on person who is drawing a tangent. I have drawn this line. Somebody else would have drawn that line. Right? It could have been way off. Now, if you do it with calculation with numbers, all will get the same results and probably very close to the right result. So what really happens is, this secant, which is joining at two points, as we bring Q closer and closer to P, approaches the tangent, right? We could have taken a point Q on 
this left side of P also, right? And then approach from there, as we approach, our secant turns into a tangent. Do you see that? So that concludes. So we say that slope of tangent line is the limit of slopes of the secant lines. That is, and now, since it is such an important condition and such an important way of doing things, and it is so much in application, we have given it a symbol, or there is a symbol for it. Symbolically, it is written as limit Q approaches P. It is not at P, limit Q approaches P. So we write like this, L small always, L I M limit, where point Q approaches, this is the point Q, which is any other point on your curve. Curve could be any curve. In this case, it is y equals to x square. And as you bring Q closer and closer to P, that is Q approaches P, that's the meaning, Q approaches P, then slope M from P to Q is slope of the tangent, is slope of tangent, right? Is slope of tangent. So that is the constant, that is the concept of limits. So limits is coming closer and closer to a given point, not exactly at that point, right? And then you got two points, right? Now when you have two points, you can calculate y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. In the next video, we will show you how to calculate slope of tangent line for the same situation. But I hope by this, you've understood a and you've got a concept of it. That is, we can take any point Q and draw a secant. And as we bring Q closer and closer to P, those sequence will come closer and closer to the actual tangent. When Q is very, very close, or when the limit, Q approaches P at that point, slope of the secant will be same as slope of the tangent, just as you saw, our line was very, very close to the actual tangent line, correct? So that is, that is the concept of limits and that is how we define our tangents, right? We say that slopes of tangent line is the limit of slopes of secant lines, right? As, as the other point on the curve approaches P. So we could have taken this point on both sides. I'm repeating that since it is important. You could have taken Q here also and then approach from left side. So we say approaching from left side or from right side, the secant approaches the tangent. And therefore, slope of the secant is same as the slope of the tangent. Correct? Thank you.